Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. Did you know that three days ago there was a secret meeting between Ripple and the SEC? And the community, uh, you know, perfectly fair game to speculate. I do a fair bit of speculating myself here. Uh, a lot of people speculating that this may have something to do <clears throat> with settlement. But if so, would it make sense to have that discussion uh, now that the SEC actually has handed over the Bill Henman Ethereum free pass emails and uh, <clears throat> associated earlier draft versions of the speech. Um, well, a couple things to note here off the bat. There are two separate meetings that have been discussed that took place on October 20th, and they're not necessarily related, but it's caused some confusion, so I wanted to kind of straighten this out because I see people talking about this. Uh, one was purely just the SEC high-ranking officials behind closed doors uh, discussing all sorts of stuff that we'll never know, uh, other than what the, the topics are. We, we understand, like, general, um, on a high level, conceptually, what, what's being discussed, not specific cases, though. Uh, but there also was, separate from that, an actual uh, SEC and Ripple meeting. But, um, you know, while these, well, it's true these are secret, they're secret only in the sense that we're not privy to what goes on behind closed doors. In terms of the fact that these meetings occurred, that's undeniable fact. So um, what are the actual odds of settlement? Well, I got a, a perspective from a few attorneys within the XRP community. But before going further, I do be clear, I do not have a legal or financial background of any kind. <clears throat> I'm not offering legal or financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. So take a look at this headline from Crypto Newsflash. Ripple, closed meeting SEC versus XRP. Will this be the settlement and the price moon? <laughs> Indeed, win moon. But more importantly, win Lambo. I think the answer is Friday, 2 p.m. All right, piece reads as follows. The United States uh, Securities and Exchange Commission has scheduled a meeting for Thursday, October 20th, 2022. The issues to be discussed include institution and settlement of injunctive actions, institution and settlement of administrative proceedings, resolution of litigation claims, and other matters relating to examinations and enforcement proceedings, uh, hereby arousing a thought on possible SEC and Ripple settlement in the ongoing lawsuit, which has sustained two years. And so here's what's being discussed. There was this notice, the Sunshine Act notice. This is on the official SEC website, as you can see, and where I'm highlighting this is what was referenced in the Crypto News Flash article. So it is true. Uh, could the, the, the topic of Ripple come up? Well, I suppose so. But in terms of, is this something that's furthering, uh, you know, the odds of settlement between the SEC and Ripple? Uh, I don't have any reason to believe that's the case necessarily, but they did have a meeting separately on that date, and the idea of settlement occurring is still very plausible, and I'll, I'll go ahead and break down why as we go through this video, but uh, I think I also wanted to cover part down here. Yeah, uh, according to the SEC document, today's meeting will be closed to the public and only accessible to high-ranking officials. Commissioners, counsel to the commissioners, the secretary to the commission, and recording secretaries will attend the closed meeting. Certain staff members who have an interest in the matters also may be present. The Sunshine Act notice reads. Now, if you look here, this is um, part of what attorney James K. Filan shared, a member of the XP community, of course, and he shared this on September 12th of this year. And it was just a, a document showing important dates in the SEC v. Ripple case. Well, one of them did happen to be, as you can see on your screen if you're looking, uh, one of them was October 20th, the same date that this closed-door meeting was going on, as indicated by the Sunshine Act notice. And so October 20th, 2022, uh, James Filan described that uh, date as being important for the following reason. Parties meet and confer to identify redactions sought by each other to the opposition briefs. So, um, yes, indeed, they are meeting behind closed doors. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe magically the idea of settlement comes up, especially with what's going on right now, but there's not a strong indication that that it would, to be honest with you, just to be fair. So, again, I don't mind the speculation. I'm just sharing with you my perspective. Um, I don't find that to be necessarily likely, but, again, doesn't mean it won't happen. In, in fact, take a look at this. There was um, this perspective from Attorney Bill, member of the XRP community, on this very topic. Because people are, people are thinking... Why if, is it is it actually reasonable to suspect that settlement's going to occur now that the SEC actually has handed over the the Bill Hinman Ethereum free pass speech? Well, here's what Attorney Bill had to say. Uh, people may say, why not engage in serious uh, settlement discussions before releasing the documents to Ripple? 
Well, if I was a Ripple attorney at this stage, I would not participate in settlement discussions without their disclosure. This was the remaining evidence not disclosed after the filing of the objections to the summary judgment motions with their exhibits. When you settle, you need to give up something. If I was advising Ripple to give up something to settle, I would insist on seeing these documents before starting settlement talks. I'll just pause a note here, and I did mention this a few days back. Um, my One of my earliest thoughts, before I had time to really process everything that was occurring, was that once the Henman emails were actually handed over to Ripple, I thought, oh gosh, well, maybe that would make it less likely because the supposition from pretty much everybody in the community, myself included, was that they're never going to hand these damn things over. And so my initial thought was, man, I guess that makes settlement not impossible, but certainly a bit less likely if they were actually willing to hand it over. And then people were wondering, well, maybe there isn't something quite as bad as we thought in there. Although I still dispute that because if you look at what Stuart Alderati, Ripple's general counsel, said, as well as Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, it's pretty clear that there's some very shameful and, as Brad put it, shocking uh, content in there. So I think it probably is really bad. But the fact that they handed that over to Ripple doesn't necessarily mean that we'll ever get to see it as, as members of the general public. We actually still might never get to see this. And so in that sense, does it really matter if just a few people at Ripple know it? Because look, the SEC is shameless. They have no shame. They don't care. These are terrible monsters, terrible people, right? So, um, you know, ultimately, um, I tend to think that it, this, after having time to process things further, I don't think the fact that that was handed over is necessarily some sort of strong indication that we're not going to see settlement. Uh, and anyway, Attorney Bill continues, and he said, Ripple probably insisted on seeing them and the SEC said, okay, but only on a confidential basis. The timing of the handing over of the Hinman speech documents and the confidential basis in which they have been delivered all indicates serious settlement talks are imminent. <laughs> and he says, I wouldn't be surprised if the SEC has reserved its right to appeal if settlement talks fail as a condition for handing them over. Yeah, so not only is it... Um, not the case that it's less likely that settlement occurs because this happened, which was, again, one of my earliest thoughts. According to Attorney Bill, it's more likely <laughs> that this could be an indication uh, that, that that settlement talks are actually going to move forward here. Um, and then there was also uh, this. Uh, somebody from the community named Matthias said, this is all logical, but the tweets by Stuart and Brad make this scenario a bit curious. Wouldn't it be very poor form if they settled now after sending folks into a celebratory frenzy? Seems like they want to finish this stand against corruption as nobody else can. And here's what Attorney Bill had to say. That can be explained. Just further positioning for settlement talks. It places pressure on the SEC. Most of Brad's comments are directed at Congress to exert political pressure. Ripple will settle when it is offered acceptable terms regardless of what XRP holders want. I, I hope that's right. Now, I will say, as far as acceptable terms... I saw a video clip from Stuart Alderati. Again, that's Ripple's general counsel, so he's their top in-house legal guy. And uh, he, he still have to paraphrase it, but he was, he was very clear. He, he said that this case settles tomorrow, or immediately, he said something to that effect, if, if uh, we have, on a go-forward basis, an agreement with the SEC that future sales of XRP are not securities transactions. So, so because that would mean, of course, that Ripple can continue conducting their business in the United States and XRP can return to exchanges then. So that's that's a, a <laughs> I mean, that's a hard line in the sand, though. You know what I'm saying? Like that that is not something that Ripple will bend on because it would destroy their business. So we, we know that we with, with as close to 100 percent certainty as possible. We know that. Uh, and then there was also uh, this question posed to attorney Bill by somebody in the community named R.D., but how does that benefit to SEC to appeal after Ripple has already seen the emails? Can't Ripple use these emails against SEC if the settlement talks do not work? Which is a pretty reasonable question. Attorney Fred Rispoli jumped in here, and uh, he said the following. In this way, assume Ripple wins at summary judgment or trial and the emails were a key piece of admitted slash considered evidence. Emails become one of SEC's appellate arguments, and the Second Circuit rules they never should have been disclosed or considered in the first place. A long shot, but possible. Okay, so effectively what he's saying here is that the SEC, in theory, could be using the fact that Ripple has these Bill Hinman Ethereum free pass e emails and the, the drafts. 
the, he's saying the SEC could effectively be using them as an insurance policy. So if they lose at summary judgment, meaning Ripple wins the case, then they can go file for an appeal for the entire case and see, look, these emails, there was a major part of it. It shouldn't have even been included. So maybe it's a long shot, as attorney Rispoli points out here, but maybe that's part of what they're thinking, which is an interesting concept. And um, also note this as a friendly reminder here. Here's a headline from CoinPeter from October 14th. Breaking Ripple vs. SEC settlement could happen on or before November 15th, 2022. And so it was um, on, I think it was October 13th, Attorney Jeremy Hogan noted that, you know, his opinion, this is the most likely time period for settlement to occur if it's going to occur. So perfectly reasonably, spe reasonable to be speculating on this stuff here. But up to November 15th, because that's when a judge would be fully briefed on, on the case. So, you know, it doesn't mean it's going to happen, but if it is going to happen, then it would, according to Jeremy Hogan, be most likely to occur within the next few weeks. And look at the developments that have been occurring here, and look at what Attorney Bill is saying. It's actually more probable that talks would, would go forward now. And so while I don't think it's the case that these, you know, secret meetings, as they're being touted, and fair enough, because they're behind closed doors, you know, the, the fact that there are these secret meetings with the SEC, including one of them with Ripple, just because the, you know that's occurring, I don't think that's particularly out of the ordinary. Stuff like that has been happening for almost two years. So I wanted to address it and share my thought. Now, if you all think that that does mean something, uh, we can respectfully disagree. Um, but, I, you know, because, look, I love diversity of thought. You tell me if you think I'm wrong and why. Happy to be told I'm wrong as long as it's civil because we should be able to, as adults, discuss such things and challenge each other's ideas. But I'll go ahead and wrap up here for now. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.